Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flingerfu, and today we are leaving the tech armor behind. We are jumping into something that's still a little bit high level, and I'm not gonna I'm I'm not kidding myself about that. But there are ways of getting past the high level requirement when it comes to actually taming these guys. But um, we're talking about the anglerfish. Yeah, we're actually getting back into the sea when we're doing basics a little bit. But yeah, they're um Uh. Okay. We are talking about the anglerfish. I was thinking angler. I had angler going through my head, but I was talking about the scuba tank. The scuba stuff. All right, because it is level 81 to actually get this stuff. And that is kind of a big pain in the butt. It's just the level requirement to get it. Because, I mean, to be honest, I don't know why it's so high. Um, but uh, it just kind of blocks you from going into the water early on. But other than that, all that aside, um, now we're going to be talking about other different ways of getting down in there because you can make the, uh, um, oh, the chowder that allows you to breathe longer and go into the sea. Um, and that is kind of um, helpful, but it doesn't really last that long. So if you really want to do this, you kind of need the scuba tank. So either have a friend that's level 81, get to level 81, um, but get some scuba tanks if you want to do this. But today, we are leaving our tech armor behind. Yeah, that's right, we're getting naked. All right, so, but today we are going with the patented leather pants. That's right, I realize they're not leather, they're rubber, but still. They look leather, I'm going with it. These are my patented leather pants. So today, we are taking the patented leather pants and we're going underwater. Yeah, that's right, baby. All right, so uh, make sure that when you head out um, for taming these guys, you can either use raw mutton, you can use prime meat, you can use prime fish meat, or you can use their preferred kibble, which is Kairuku kibble. Um, I've got a huge farm of Kairuku over at my base, so I have no shortage of Kairuku kibble. Matter of fact, I think one of the most amount of eggs I have in my refrigerator is Kairuku. It's kind of insane, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is what happens when you make organic uh, polymer farms. So you just get a lot of these eggs. There's some strange reason. They just, like, fall into your lap. Also, make sure that when you do this, you take down at least two... Um, scuba tanks. I take down three. I mean, they do weigh quite a bit, and that's the only downside, is that they do weigh quite a bit. But, um, I, I take down three. That way they're, you know, it, it's really not that big of a thing. And then also, um, it, you can take the scuba mask. It's not for everybody. Not everybody likes it. And then also make sure you get your flippers. But don't put on your flippers while you're out on land, because when you run with flippers, you go <laughs> super slow. <laughs> yeah, so just don't do it. Just don't do it. Wait till you get into the water. All right, so now let's grab that. Get rid out of K mode. Let's get over here. And um, I would prefer um, my preferred dino for taming these guys. Um, oh, the anglerfish is using an ichthyornis. So that's what we're gonna be using today. How many levels you got, buddy? You got two levels. Good job, buddy. Let's get you a little bit of health so you don't die super fast. You're totally gonna die. Just so you know this, we're gonna go out in the water, and the first thing is that you're gonna die. All right. Just just know this. All right. But yeah, these guys are actually pretty fast, which is why I would recommend using them. And also, you can use a weapon on their back, which is pretty cool. Um, my other preferred dino for these guys would probably be um, a Baryonyx. Because a Baryonyx, while the Baryonyx moves a lot slower, um, you're able to uh, oh use your uh, crossbow on its back. And also Baryonyx, they could take a hit. I mean, a Baryonyx, you can face tank a Mosa with those things. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. All right, so now I'm going to put this on. Things are gonna get a little weird. We got a patented leather uh, chest piece, and then also let's get our scoop, our flippers on. And I'm not gonna use the. Uh... Oh, maybe I should. I, I just don't like these because they block your vision so much. I and mean, it's yeah, that's that's why I don't like these. But if you're going to tame one of these guys, um, an anglerfish, you have to go down to the bottom parts of the ocean. And this is kind of scary for the first timers when you get down here because there's all sorts of wild, nasty things out here. Yep, right there. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, those dudes, a whole bunch of eels. There's eels after my butt already. All right, eels on the butt, eels on the butt. All right, so now this is the kind of dangers that you have to, see, there's, please use sources. It's dangerous down here. There's sharks, just everything. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's sharks and electric eels, and there's one of those things, and one of those things, and another one of those things, and all I'm looking for is an anglerfish, guys. And I'm up at the surface. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So that happened. 
Alright, so let's get back down here. Let's go see if we can go find something. Alright, let's see. Alright, uh, make sure that when you're down here, paying very close attention to what all is around. Because there's, uh, uh Megalodons, there's, uh, Tuso Toothus, and if a Tuso Toothus gets a hold of you, you're not getting away, especially on Ichthyornis. On a Baryonyx, you have a chance to actually kill the, uh, Tuso before, before you die. But on an Ichthyornis, if you do get held, you're dead. Just, just, just realize you're dead. Alright, um, but, uh, yeah, um, which is why I would generally prefer to bring one of these, bring down a, uh, um, Baryonyx, but today I wanted to do it a little bit difficult, a little bit easier, well, not easier, more difficult, yeah, alright, I'm not seeing any anglerfish, where are you guys, alright, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna be looking as I run, screaming like a girl from everything that moves and then shakes a fin at me, alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna be looking around, and, well, that is Megalodon zombie. Where are you, England fish? You're not an England fish. Why aren't you an England fish? You're supposed to be an England fish, man. All right, so hey, I'll bring you guys back as soon as I find one of these little guys. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. And I finally found one. And he's just kind of chilling out, trying to uh, aggro on me. I ended up killing a Megalodon. And I was clearing out my inventory, and he just kind of popped out on me. Alright, so now all you want to do is start just pelting this guy. Now, these guys, they're really skittish. They're going to start attacking you, but as soon as you attack back, they don't know how to take it. So they're just going to peace out. So the best way to do is to just follow them. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, now you're back on me? All right, fine. I see how it is. Oh, are you Christmas colors? Ah, right, gotcha. Suck it, dude. Gotcha again. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Still up against the wall. Okay, I think he's running. But yeah, just keep pelting these guys. I mean, they will run away from you, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's also part of what they do. Are you out? Oh, you are out, finally. All right, now comes the hardest part. <sighs> Taming one of these guys in the middle of the ocean. I mean, cause it gets really, oh, you're not out? Back here. Dude, get back here. Get over here. Come here. No way I'm letting this guy get out of here. This guy's got a lot of torpor. Oh, I killed it! No! Oh, dude, no! You were doing so great! Alright, but also by harvesting up the wild ones, you get angler gel. So, we've got that going on in our lives. Alright, well, hey, I'm gonna get looking around a little bit more. See if I can find another one. Hopefully, I won't kill this next one. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Remember what I said about Moses and Tutha? I'm um, Tuso Tuthuses? What about both of them in one little bit? Yeah, this gets a little scary down here. It's a little freaky. All right, and we're back. And I finally got this one right here knocked out. This one took me a while. I had to bounce between regular, um, my ascendant crossbow, and then this one right here. All right, and then I just kind of just whittled him down with this one. But see how low of hit points he has? Yeah, it's not that great. Plus, I was also um, dangling myself in between this Megalodon right here that just didn't want to stop, jerk. All right, so... I already... Oh, there he is. All right. So now I'm way out here in the middle of nowhere with this guy. All right. So let's see. Um, sure, we'll go five. All right, now his Torpor is going to be kind of going down a little bit fast. If it keeps going down super fast, I'll just uh, use... Uh, 
Trank arrows in my ascendant uh, crossbow to go uh, kill, um, oh, some jellyfish. <laughs> so where I can get some, uh, oh, biotoxin. Biotoxin, it, it's, it's easy to come by if you've got a crossbow. And it works better than just about, uh, it, it works better than narcotics. It's amazing. All right, but also notice that when you're out here in the water, um, while you can't see anything, you'll slowly start to lower. So, yeah. All right, and there's, of course, there's more fish over there, and I just saw another anglerfish right down there. So you have to kind of keep an eye out for everything around here. It gets a little bit weird out here in the ocean, and then you'll start to talk to yourself, and then you'll talk to your the owners that hasn't been named, and then everybody will be freaking out. Oh, I see that angler Joe way over there. All right, I see that anglerfish. Yeah, you're going to come at me, aren't you? Don't come at me. I'll kick your butt, man. I swear, I'll kick your butt. All right, don't mess with me, please. All right, so yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Um, and also make sure that you keep an eye on your uh, um, your scuba tank while you're out there, while you're out here, because once it breaks, you only have until you drown to uh, put a new one on. So just make sure that you keep an eye on that. All right, how's your food doing? Food, go down faster. All right, see you guys in a bit. Andy's up. All right, so now that we've got this guy. <clears throat> We're just going to take this guy, and uh, we're going to uh, hop on him, have this guy right here follow us up to the surface. And you'll notice these guys, they actually move pretty dang fast. They're pretty cool. Um, now, they're not, you know... Matter of fact, actually, you know what? Let me go take this ichthyosaurus back, because there's a lot of nasty stuff out here. So, yeah, let's do this. And the ichthy, um, the ichthy will be able to keep hold of this. How far away from base am I? Pretty far. You just go. Oh, I'm not. Oh, hold. There it is. All right, cool. All right, come on, dude. All right, let's get you in here before all the mantis come and get me. Um, and then as soon as we get in there, um, <clears throat> then we'll be able to go out and we'll be able to show you just how cool these guys are. All right, now these guys they can get going super, super fast once you have one. Um, now they're not the most tanky things. They are more tanky than an ichthyosaurus. But they're not like, say, as tanky as a Mosa or a Basilo. That's, that's just not going to happen. Not in a fish. Come on. All right. So, yeah. And then, but um, you don't need a saddle for these guys. So, you don't get the uh, extra armor bonus. But also, you don't have to craft anything um, uh, to be able to ride one. But one of the best things is you can come down here to the bottom. And I, if I remember right, when I just get... Yep, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, bunch of stuff yeah i ended up having to go out and um, get um some biotoxin for one of these guys um oh for one of the jellyfish but really the only thing i'm worried about right now is electrophorus and then maybe um oh a two so mosa is not so bad i can outrun a mosa i can outrun a pleasy um all you have to do is go up to the surface but one of the coolest things with these guys you can come down you can just eat silica pearls and you get a ton of of silica pearls just by eating them with these guys. It is wicked cool. Yeah, look at this. There's some. There's some. There's some. Yeah, wicked cool. And also, you get to listen to these guys burp when you do it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, oh, wow. It's... Now your food's going down, huh? Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. All right, let's go eat this fish up here. Mr. Fish. Oh, get back here. Get, get back here. I don't want that fish. I want the other fish. All right, I'll take this fish. Right here. All right, but really, the only attacks these guys have are, um... They, I mean, they don't have a right click. They don't have a uh, C attack. All they do is have a left click attack, which is just a bite. Um, but that bite, it does a lot more damage than the ichthys, which is kind of cool. All right, and also, with, by using the bite attack on the, uh, oh, on the silica pearls, then you, uh, can gather up a whole ton of them, like, super quick. And I've got a bunch of stuff. Sorry. I, I, I seem to be a little distracted right now, but that's only because I'm, uh, trying to bounce around between those, uh, megalodons. Now, I could probably kill the megalodons, 
But, uh, yeah, I really don't want to have to worry about that too much right now. All right, let's see. All right, so let's get up here. Okay, so let's get back to base, and then let's start, uh, let's talk about a few of the different builds that we can do on these guys. Because these guys, they can be used for some pretty cool uses. Um, one of them, you can actually get these guys, um, oh, leveled up as a tank. Yeah, believe it or not, an anglerfish can be used as a tank for, say, like, Megalodon, stuff like that. I mean, nothing too serious. I would not recommend going and using a Mosa. But you cannot, you also, uh, cannot equip any weapons while you're on the back, which is a little unfortunate. But also, it, it, you know, it makes sense because you're busy holding on the entire time for dear life. All right, so let's get over here. Um, now, if I were to use these guys as a tank, I would go, I would pump up uh, all my hit points to, uh, you know, kind of a beefy thing. Now, when I say tank, I use the term loosely because, yeah, here, let me show you. Now, this guy right here, he started out at 3150 health. I mean, he was level 110 wild, tamed up 164. One pump, bam, goes up to 34. So he got 300, well, almost 300 hit points um, for that one pump. So it means that he could go up pretty dang high. It's kind of cool. All right, now his melee damage, bam, it actually went up by nine points. It's pretty good. So if I were to use one of these guys as like a deep sea tank, you know, so where I'm not too worried about um, different things, then I would probably go with, out of every five levels, I would go with three in health, two in melee damage. That way there, you can just take a beating, you can dish out a good beating, and you can do some pretty good um, damage because their base me melee damage is actually pretty decent. Um, but normally what I use anglerfish for, I just use them as a little speedy guy, get down there, get the silica pearls, get back up to the surface, don't even worry about anything getting in your way. I mean, if you see an electrophorus, outrun it. If you see anything else, outrun it. That's my tactic for using them. And then for those, for every five levels, I go with at least two in speed, and then one in weight, and then two in health. That way there, if something does hit me, I'm not going to die. Um, but then again, these guys are no, not a glass cannon by any means. Um, but yeah, um, I would go with uh, um, two points. Um, and, and movement speed for each one and I would actually breed these guys up and then imprint them so where they get the extra bonus to movement speed. And these guys um, imprinted, they can go super fast. It is wicked cool. But also when you're breeding these guys, just remember you have to have a nice little pool like this so where you can breed them and then they're just going to, uh, um, because you, the eggs, they you can't pick up the eggs. They just go down to the bottom and they sit down there. Then you kind of have to babysit them. Yeah. But imprinting them is really fun. And believe it or not, you want to see a cute, ugly fish? A baby angler gel, or a baby angler fish is a cute, ugly fish. Yes, as sickening as that is, they are a cute, ugly fish. All right, but then again, I mean, what can you complain about with this many uh, silica pearls? It is wicked cool. All right, so hey, I hope I didn't abolish the video too bad because I ended up killing my first anglerfish with uh, um, oh, with the crossbow. But just know, you kind of have to babysit these guys. I mean, it's not, uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, they don't have that many hit points when uh, they're wild. So they have far more torpor than they do hit points. So just know, don't overpower them and just kind of baby them. Go with the five second rule, shoot a crossbow bolt, wait five seconds. Shoot another crossbow bolt, wait five seconds. Shoot another crossbow bolt, wait five seconds. It takes a while, especially when you can't uh, oh, put them in a taming pen, but that's kind of what you have to do with these guys. Just a lot like Sabertooths, but in Sabertooths, you can do it in a taming pen. All right. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. Um, if you did, make sure you click that like button. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.